Now we need two form elements, so let's go ahead and import input. Stephanie, need input. And we'll put it right next to this H2 here. Input. It's compile. And should have a default text input. Let's just be a little bit more explicit about what kind of input that is. I have two of these, so let's do, let's hit tab, because we're gonna have a lot of these. Same name. This is a Fahrenheit input. The class is an input, so we get the nice Ellie styling. And it doesn't know what name is, so we gotta import that. That's an attribute. It also probably doesn't know what type is. We'll import that in a minute. There you go. Now it's nice and big, has the little highlight and the rollover effect. And let's just import type so we can be explicit of what kind of input this is. Text. And it needs type for text at a comma. There we go. All right, so now we can type in stuff and it already remembers that 32 is the default, fantastic. Pasta coding this guy for the Celsius. Celsius, format it, there we go. All right, now we got two inputs. The issue is we don't know which is which and they're all smushed together. So let's import a label up here and we'll put them right on top of these guys. Don't forget the comma, bro. For, this label is for the Fahrenheit. And the class is label. And we'll copy pasta coding, hopefully good this time. And this is for the Celsius format, compile. All right, it doesn't know what four is, so let's go ahead and import the four attribute. Oh yeah, the only thing it's missing is text. So let's say text, far. Run height with a semicolon or a colon. Sorry, I'm stupid. Celsius. I'm not stupid. I just need more coffee. Whoosh. All right. Now we got a basic, good looking form, all thanks to Bulma. And from here, we're going to start adding some interactivity here.